Radio 2 is there for you. Hello, this is Brian Matthew, continuing the story of John Carter. Do you still perform in public at all yourself? Uh, not for money, but for fun, <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, again, mentioning uh, one of my old-time friends, Peter Barnfather, he plays uh, down at the local wine bar uh, every Friday, so mm. I take my guitar and behave like a hooligan for a few hours on a Friday and night. And sing some of your own songs? Uh, not, not generally. I, we tend to get asked for all the sort of 60s stuff, like Buddy Holly. And, mm. uh, Do the, the people who patronise tend to know who you are anyway? Uh, or, yes. Oh, they do. Well, it's fair enough. So it's not just, hey, what's that guy doing singing all those <laughs> <laughs> songs? Are there any fresh areas that you would, or indeed that you are getting into now as a composer? Well, I've never written music for actual television series and this is one of the areas I wanted to get into and I've just had an offer to start some music for an Australian um, television series which is a, ch a children's uh, sort of adventure series mm -hmm. in conjunction with another friend of mine Stan Symington who's a very good lyric writer and um, it just came out of the blue we were having dinner one night with the producer of the show and I just asked him um, you know what he'd got going at the moment and he mm -hmm. told us about this this series and uh, we said to him out of the blue well you're gonna need some music for that aren't you so um, we did it purely on spec. We wrote a signature tune and uh, he liked it. So it looks like we're going to get involved in the whole series now. Wonderful. What about stage musicals? Has that ever interested you? Yes, I've tried, but never succeeded. I, that's one of the areas I would love to get into. You still like to? I mean, mm, yeah. After all these years, there is still at least some uh, yeah. ambition there. Mm, oh, yeah. You've got to keep uh, a few ambitions going, I think. What about the future of songwriting, as you said, you've explained this, this uh, exploration and uh, marketing in, in countries other than, than Britain, but in Britain, is there any sign of a, a change at the moment, away from that do-it-yourself, uh, or rather pinch other people's and sample and so on? Yeah, well, I, I just hope there is, because uh, when a good record breaks through, say like Brian Adams or um, Diana Ross, they tend to sell in huge quantities. They do, don't so, they? You know, there is a market out there, but um, radio tends to ignore it and, and and so record companies tend to ignore it and not make the product so i'm just hoping that one day they'll come to their senses yes yeah, so i wonder if we are seeing a degree of change in that very aspect in in particularly in radio too at the moment i think it oh, is quite yes. possible yeah let's let's hope so. good does your back catalogue tend to get recorded still by other people it, it does yes i mean uh, apart from the original records still being released on compilation albums all the time uh, i've had covers on on most things throughout the years um Sometimes an obscure thing turns up, like uh, there's recently been a compilation of early Jimmy Page session work called um, James Patrick Page Session Man, I think it was. And suddenly I bought this in a shop, and, and there's a Carter Lewis in the B-side, uh, Carter Lewis in the Southern as B-side that suddenly turns as up. As a track on this, as this a track LP, on this and what's it called? It's called Somebody Told My Girl.
fairly recent uh, release on a compact disc of somebody told my girl a Jimmy Page compilation and John Carter discovering himself there rather too surprised. I mean, so you're not actually told when your material... No, it's a great surprise sometimes. Yeah. How does that work then as far as earning royalties are concerned? Do someone well, else look after that? And all the royalties are collected through the various societies throughout the world, so mm. you eventually uh, end up with your share. You hope. <laughs> you hope. <laughs>